We were excited about making a traditional dragon feast. And then it hit me. Oh! Not everyone was on board. Yes, it worked. Zephyr, <laughs> what are you doing? Testing my dragon defense system. You and all the grown-ups in New Burke are leaving them snacks. What if one shows up? Well, that would be great. We love dragons. Why? They're monsters. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, I found this in the attic. It was Grandpa's. How come you never told us the truth about dragons? But we did. Dragons are wonderful. They're our friends. Tell me this. Are they giant? Well, yeah. Razor sharp teeth? Uh, Breathe fire? I suppose so. Claws? That'd be us. What happened to your leg? Oh, oh. Uh, That's what I thought. Maybe we don't leave fish snacks around to attract them. Because you know who doesn't want to be dragon dessert? Me. Nothing. Do you want to be dessert for a dragon? <clears throat> Me thinks I don't. Let's go with the dragons! How did this happen? Our ancestors were terrified of dragons because they didn't know them. Oh. Astrid, we cannot let our kids go down that road. <clears throat> Remember when we were kids, back in Old Burke, how we used to put on a pageant at Snoggletog? Oh yeah, those were fun. What if we brought the pageant back? We showed the children of New Burke how humans and dragons became friends. That's a great idea. But we've only got four days until Snoggle Talk. Three if you don't count Black Plague Friday. Yeah, nothing gets done. Everybody's just shopping and coughing. I think we could do this. Let's talk to Gobber. No! <laughs> you got me! Kid can take a hit. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just all this talk of dragons kind of makes me miss them. It's hard at the holidays, you know? Wonder if Toothless ever misses me. Thank <laughs> you.